Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. I hadn't been on the water in about two weeks. The spawn's over with. It's the middle of the summer. It's hot and I'm going to try to find out where the fish are. If you like this video, please hit subscribe down there in the corner so you can stay up to date on all the new videos. All right, folks, a big shout out to Clint Wiles, uh, my buddy out in Nashville. He wrote that little bump music for me there that you got to see. I put a little link down to his stuff down there below. Be sure to check him out. Hey, uh, I haven't been out here in two weeks. Uh, I've been working, trying to scratch out a dollar, and I'm back on the water. Spawn's over with. We're catching good fish. Matter of fact, the last fish I caught was 50 pounds So uh, on July 4th. So uh, back out here, trying to figure out what's going on, figure out where the fish are. So uh, got some baits in the water. I'm just around Lake Wiley. I've got rim uh, just stopped and caught some uh, before I got out here and uh, doing some drifting just basically trying to narrow down where the fish are and what they're doing uh, a lot can change in two weeks especially this time of the year coming in post spawn but uh, I know a lot of good fish have been caught recently so uh, they're out they're moving they're feeding it's just a matter of narrowing down where they are now so uh, we're gonna drag some baits around here see what we can find them. All right. Working this drift here for a little while, never got bit. Well, I'll take that back. I had a bite. I was doing something live on YouTube. I had a bite, didn't mess with it. It was a, looked like a small channel cap. So, just reeled that line in to check it. Had some slime on it. And, uh, getting ready to put it back out. And, bam, planer board went off. I've got out four planers, two rods straight out the back. So, good little spread covering some water. All brim today. Uh, I said I have not been out here in two weeks fishing due to work and uh, had a couple of nights was going to come out and the storms got me so uh, typical summertime but out here now did a little prospecting nice blue Look at that one. Look at there. Somebody been eating mussels. It's Twelve pound Lake Wiley Blue. to the water all right guys been dragging them around here for over an hour I've only got that one fish uh, I'm in the upper part of the lake not into the river section but the upper part um, don't know don't know it's just not a good bite up here right now I'm gonna try up I've uh, been dragging a river channel a pretty good way should have got on at least a few fish some channel cats or something I've got a variety of baits out sizes uh, I've got some big baits little baits all kinds of different stuff so it's just changing it up depending on what the fish are hitting on um, so I'm gonna drag up onto this flat pull down this flat for maybe 30 minutes and there goes a rod on the planter board right there as we speak you can't plan stuff like that uh, this is one of my rods I'm trying to braid out on to see how it works with the planter boards Little experimentation. Get this around small fish, not a big one. Coming up the uh, channel ledge here, up out of the old river bed and onto a flat that is adjacent to the river channel. And those lines were probably that fish was somewhere right around the bottom, I would guess, of uh, that ledge. So. Who knows, maybe they're up shallower than I thought they were. It's hard to say. Nah, he's in the other planter. Little fish and he's going to make a mess. Channel cat. Finally, finally, a channel cat. Mr. Channel. Miss the channel. Yeah. 
There he is. A whopper. He tail slapped my camera. How rude. That's better. How dare he blur up my face. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a little something here on the sonar. Uh, it's July 22nd, 23rd, somewhere like that. It's hot, it's gonna be in the upper 90s today. We've had several days of it. We haven't had anything below the 90s in a while. Water's hot, look at this temperature. 94.5 degrees. If you look right here, I've got some stuff up on the screen. You can see very distinct thermocline right there. Now, what's interesting about that is, I'm just downstream from a hot water discharge from a steam station. So uh, a power plant and it's releasing hot water. That's why this water is actually a little bit warmer than what it is up the river. So the reason I bring that up is you got a lot of hot water in there on the surface. Sometimes, and I don't know right here, I'm seeing some fish in that thermocline and what I'm getting at is some of that cooler water settles to the bottom. It can still be oxygenated. It really just depends on what's going on uh, the only way to know is to drop a oximeter down there and check it and I don't have one of those So if you start seeing fish in that area, uh, you can actually have fish in the thermocline most of the time They're not most of the time a thermocline is a dead zone, especially late in the year now sometimes you can fish below it uh, Obviously you can fish above it uh, a lot of these thermoclines will set up in a band of 25 to 35 feet deep and then below it. It's fine and uh above it you can catch fish so just a little heads up i am going to show you some markings some fish most of them are staging right above it but i did see some fish in it so I'm kind of curious what that is here you can see some markings above the thermocline right above it one here some here right that's actually in it what was interesting was i saw some bait schools earlier here you can see fish still in it i actually saw some bait schools earlier that uh, were in it. They, they were from the top of the thermocline to the bottom and uh, looks like they wouldn't come out of it. So uh, it could be different kinds of bait, could be alewives, could be something that's more uh, low oxygen tolerant. So uh, just a little food for thought there on the whole thermocline thing. It's not always a dead zone. Most of the time it's a dead end road fishing in it or below it. But sometimes you can catch fish. So my point is pay attention to what's going on in your sonar. If you're seeing fish in it or below it they're there and they can live there so and they're probably in there for comfort and there may be food in there so something to think about well there you go go figure haven't had a bite in an hour and a half have a perch rig out that's where the fish comes feisty channel cat we'll take it at least we know they're still on the lake. <laughs> A fine wily specimen. Released alive. Than the one on the planer board. Tried the channel. Tried some of that shallower stuff. Finally rolled up here into about how deep in my mouth? 20 feet of water. Only got bit. I think there's a muscle bed in through here because I always seem to pick off a good fish right through here. This isn't a big one, but it's something. Slow bite today. Tough bite. Hot water, hot weather. Just keep on swinging. Fish when you can. Catch them when they bite. Favorable sun. A nice one. All right, folks, that's it. Good splash. I'm going to call it a day. Appreciate you guys watching. If you like the videos, please hit subscribe down there in the corner. That way you can stay up to date on all the new videos coming out. See you on the water.